Today I'm going to go over how to prepare for the full version of Outriders and we're going to start right now. What's up guys, Reckless here, welcome back to another video. Before we get into the video, I just want to let everybody know that we currently have a giveaway for three full digital versions of Outriders and the details for the giveaway will be towards the end of the video. So, the clock is ticking. There is less than a week until the release of the full game of Outriders and there is still a lot of things to do in order to prepare. For those of you who don't know, the progress from the Outriders demo does in fact transfer over to the full game when it is released on April 1st, 2021. This gives us an opportunity to do a few things in order to be prepared to move forward within the game. If you guys want to know the details on what is going to happen for day one of Outriders, I had made a video explaining everything that you need to know, and I will put it in a card in the top right of the screen right now and at the end of this video. So let's get started. The first thing that you can do, and most of us have already been doing this since the demo was released, is to farm legendaries. Yes, this is the very first thing. Now, before you get all agitated, hear me out. The farming process is needed for many things that I am actually going to talk about in this video. You need to farm at least 24 to 48 hours before April 1st. And for starters, just farm legendaries until you no longer need to or want to. While you are farming, you want to do several things besides get legendaries. First, you want to get your character to level 7. This is the highest level that you can actually make your character go inside the Outriders demo. Remember, the Hells Ranger gear is allowed to be equipped to your character at level 10, so the closer you are to level 10, the better. Second, you want to look for weapons that are 330 plus firepower for your primary and secondary weapons and 240 plus for your sidearm. While you are doing that, you also want to look for armor that is 205 plus. I think the highest rare I've actually seen in the demo so far is 209, but I have seen epic armor that goes past 250s. Now this will give you a slight overall power advantage going into the full game, but it will be shortly obsolete within the first couple of missions after you start playing the full game if you have beat the demo. Third, for all weapons and armor lower than previously stated, you want to either sell or dismantle until you actually hit the demo cap. The cap for scrap is 25,000, the cap for leather and iron is 1,000, and the cap for titanium is 10. I mean, the devs could have went a little bit higher than 10 on titanium. I'm just going to assume that titanium is a very much needed item in order to craft. And you can also get some of these materials by harvesting as well. After all that is completed, this brings us to the next thing. So for the fourth thing you can do, once you hit the cap on all of the materials, then you want to go ahead and start hoarding all weapons and armor that are either rare or a higher rarity. Now, there are 30 weapon slots for your primary and secondary weapons combined, 15 weapon slots for your sidearm, and 75 armor slots altogether, which is 15 per each type of armor, not including what you have for weapons that are equipped or armor that you're using. I'll get into why we are hoarding weapons and armor in just a few. Now, this will bring us to the fifth thing that you need to do. For the fifth thing, you want to do missions, side quests, etc. in order to increase your world tier to world tier 5. Once you get to world tier 5, you want to get to the highest point in world tier 5 so that when you actually enter the full game, all you have to do is like one mission and you are already inside world tier 6, which in turn gives you access to better gear. This is why farming for legendaries first is important because every time you die while you're farming captains, your world tier rank goes down further and farther away from world tier 6 until you are at the bottom of world tier 5. A little bonus, but not a necessity, is that you can actually max out all your accolades while doing the first 5 things. The max level you can go in accolades is level 20. And I know a few people with a lot of time on their hands that have already hit level 20 in their accolades. Shout out in the comments section if you have maxed out on the accolades for the demo. Now, once you get all of that out of the way, the next step is a waiting period. As I mentioned earlier, you want to do all these steps 24 to 48 hours prior to the full game being released. This waiting period is waiting for the full game. 
after the game is released, make sure that you go into the full game and not the demo for step six. For step six, once you are in the full game, you want to dismantle all of your gear that you do not want or need for that matter for all of the materials and mods. Do not, I repeat, do not sell your weapons or armor to a vendor. You want all of the materials that come from dismantling the gear as well as the mods. If you sell your gear to a vendor, you won't get any of the mods and very little materials besides scrap. Now, I can't stress enough to do this inside the full game. If you try to do this inside the demo, you will be stuck at the demo cap and you will have lost all of those materials from dismantling. So don't do it. Check, double check, and even triple check if you have to in order to see that you are indeed in the full version of Outriders. And that, my friends, is everything that you need to do in order to prepare for the full version of the game. If there is anything else that I did not mention, please let us know in the comment section below. Also, let us know what class you are going to start the game with. Now, this is totally random and off topic. I just found out that if you use an emote and go into your inventory while that emote is still active, you are not allowed to change or toggle any of your weapons until it's completed. I found this out by using the sitting emote, but that emote doesn't actually complete until you move again. I don't know, don't ask. I just figured it was totally random and I would just let you guys know. So, you made it this far into the video and you wanna know the details of the Outriders giveaway. Well, it's very simple. All you have to do is follow me on Twitter and put your platform of choice in the hashtag giveaway section of the Everything Outriders Discord. That is all. You don't even need to subscribe to my channel in order to participate in this giveaway. But if you did subscribe, the support is greatly appreciated. The giveaway will go until Wednesday, March 31st, 2021 at 6 p.m. EST. However, that time may change given the launch times for the entire world. So a link to my Twitter and the Discord are in the description box below. And that, my friends, brings us to the end of the video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Hey, hey you, watch these videos too. I know you like them. Go, 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 go.